woman is trapped in a cryogenic chamber. The artificial intelligence wanted to give her a sedative, but the oxygen level is already low at this point. The woman could not fall asleep. After <laughs> After calming down, she began to look up her own information, but she found out that she was a doctor of cryogenics. Did she put herself in here by herself? She also found out that she was married and had children. So she tried to call her husband for help again, but the call was answered by an old woman. The woman says she wants to speak to her husband, but the old woman told her not to call again. The helpless woman could only try to use a syringe to break the sealing rubber of the cryogenic chamber. And it worked. But at that moment, the artificial intelligence detected the damage to the cryogenic chamber. It actually activated self-protection electric shock woman at this time the oxygen level is only 20 percent just when the woman was in despair the police called again they told the woman they had found the manufacturer of the cryogenic chamber they would soon be able to get the code to get her out and the woman gave the police the woman gave the police new clues about her family and husband but the police replied that there was no record of her marriage it could all be her imagination the woman is not convinced again to check her husband's information but this time it was as if her husband had vanished into thin air and the description of herself from the police also did not match her memory at all. Just when she was wondering, the call was interrupted again. The woman became suspicious of the police. She repeatedly looped the recording of the call. She vaguely heard, someone on the other end of the line seemed to be leading the police to answer. That's when the call came back in, and the voice coming from the receiver. It was the old woman's voice from before. The old woman said to the woman, We are out of time. In 10 minutes, you will be out of communication range with Earth. So the only way to help you reach your destination alive now is to go back into deep hibernation. In order to gain the woman's trust, the old woman gave out the administrator's password, but she told the woman, do not open the hatch, or she would die. To prove the danger, she guided the woman to open the zero mode of the cryogenic chamber. With the zero mode turned on, the woman floated straight up. She was very shocked, asking the old woman where she really was. The old woman replied, your location, beyond the earth, 65,000 kilometers or so. The woman couldn't believe it, but the sight in front of her no longer allows herself to doubt. The woman asked again, and where is the destination? The old woman said, it's a planet 14 light years from Earth. It turns out that the human race has been infected by a deadly virus. The virus will wipe out the human race in two generations. We had no choice. The human race had to send 10,000 elites as the spark of civilization out of the Earth. A woman was one of them, but something went wrong in the process. There was a problem with her cryogenic chamber, causing her to wake up early. It was a top secret plan to survive. You have to follow the old woman's instructions, find the cause of the awakening, fix the flight pod, and all of these operations before 2% of oxygen is left, and go back into hibernation. Otherwise, when she reaches her destination, there won't be enough oxygen to keep her awake. The woman tries to understand the old woman's words, but the decreasing oxygen level destroys her hope little by little. Despair and helplessness completely broke down her psychological defenses. She decided to simply open the cryogenic chamber. However, at the last second when the door was opened, she seemed to remember something. A